Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas and welcome to this, the ninth in a series of video tutorials on how to create a first person shooter in Unity 5. Okay, so if you remember last episode, um, well the past couple of episodes, we've been putting together some GUI, um, let's double click on our canvas here, and down here we have our ammo. So what I aim to do in this tutorial is to make it so as when we press play and uh, we shoot, we can actually kind of have what's loaded in our weapon and kind of reserve ammo. So the first thing we'll do is we will duplicate down here in the panel ammo displayer. So hold control, press D on it, right click, rename and let's call this loaded ammo. So let's um, tidy this up a little bit so we can tell the difference between the two. So loaded ammo, I'm going to move across slightly. I'm going to increase the font size to, let's say, 20. Let's bring it up a touch about there so it's kind of level with that, sort of. Uh, ammo displayer, I'm going to move across a bit. In fact, I'll move them both across a bit. 20 too small. I think I um, we'll have that a little bit bigger. Let's try 24 on that. Okay, that looks a little better. Let's bring it up a touch. And ammo display it up a little bit. And I'm going to change ammo display's colour to uh, kind of a yellow colour. Yeah, about there. Okay, so what hopefully will happen now. Um, well, at the end of this tutorial, when we fire, it will take it away from the um, big white zero we've got there. And when we collect the ammo, it will go over to the yellow one. So the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, modify some scripts, essentially. Uh, what we'll do is if we go into uh, the scripts folder here and we'll start in global ammo. So if you go into it and load it up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio, whichever one you use, we need to add in, um, I think, five lines, I think. We need to do some variables and change down here a little as well. So we need to realistically just copy what we've got here and duplicate it for our loaded ammo just here. So var, in fact, no, we'll start with the static. So static var let's have loaded ammo and that will be an integer remember case sensitive uh, next we'll have a variable I uh, will call this internal loaded that will also be an integer the last one will be loaded um, display and that would be game object. So down here in the function update we need to play around with these variables we've just created and if you remember we're making internal ammo equals current ammo so we're making uh, this equal to this so we need to do the same with our loaded so the line can almost be repeated just with lo loaded rather than current so we have, um, sorry, internal loaded, and I'll make that equal to loaded ammo. Okay. So the next thing we need to do uh, is kind of duplicate the next line down, which is the ammo display dot get component. We need to do the same for our loaded. So we can easily do that by virtually copying it. So loaded display dot, uh, oops, I've gone down line there, my apologies. Uh, get component dot uh, spiky bracket text, and then dot text again there. So it is virtually the same, equals, double quotes, plus loaded ammo, and then semicolon. 
So that is pretty much all we need to do to global ammo. All we've done here is kind of make room for our extra field that we're going to use for when we load our gun. Chances are we'll be modifying this again further in the future when we have uh, different weapons. So I'm just going to save that now. And head back into Unity to give it a second to think down here. Next thing we need to do is let's go to our ammo object here. And you'll see we have loaded display just here. So the ammo display is still displaying, uh, so it's still linked to this one here, the ammo displayer. So this loaded display needs to be linked to this one. So you can drag and drop over here. Next thing we need to do is change our gunfire script. This is a nice quick one. It shouldn't take too much of our time up. And where we've got uh, global ammo current ammo, we now need to change that current to loaded. Now the reason we're changing that is because when we fire our gun, we want it to take off one shot from our loaded ammo, not our reserve or current ammo. So save that again. So with a bit of luck, at this point, if we press play, when we fire our gun, it takes it off from the white one, which is the loaded ammo. Although when we go and pick up our ammo, it puts it in the correct one, which is fine. However, if we press play now, don't fire and head over, it still puts it in our reserve ammo. Best thing for us to do at this point is we want to put our um, ammo in here when we pick it up if we have no shots. So rather than put it in there and then you have to reload to put it in your gun within the game, we want it to go straight into here. Reloading is also something we'll be doing uh, later on in the series. Um, it's not too difficult to do, we'll be using the R key on the keyboard. But as I say, for this episode we'll probably leave it just for now. So let's get to work with our ammo pickup script. So over here, ammo pickup, double click, open up in Mono Develop or Visual Studio. Now we only have a couple of lines on this one and it is always picking up 10 ammo when we go to global ammo. So what we need to do is we need to put in a couple more lines and we need an if statement to uh, make it say, if our ammo is equal to zero in our loaded section, then put this ammo in. If not, put it in our reserve ammo. So to do that, after where you've got ammo sound play, because we always want that to play, we need to type if, and then we need to refer to our global ammo, global ammo dot loaded ammo, is equal to zero. Remember that's a double equal just there. And then close bracket and then open curly bracket. So just to be clear, we're checking if our global ammo, loaded ammo, this function is, uh, sorry, this variable, not function, this variable is equal to zero. If it is, we need to perform the following. And the line of code we're gonna put is pretty much this, but a little bit differently. So it is a global ammo dot um, loaded ammo. Oops, not lomo, loaded ammo, and then plus equals ten. If I put space there, ten semicolon, and then we need to do this dot game object dot set active and then false close bracket and then semicolon the next line down is a uh, curly bracket close so next thing we need to do is we need to do an else statement so if it isn't equal to zero we need to perform this action so else open curly bracket and then to be honest I think we can use uh, this line that we have right here anyway so after you've got this dot game object dot set active false next line down close curly bracket 
and save your script. Head back to Unity, give it a second just to think about what we've done. We shouldn't get any errors. Nope, nothing at all. So now if we press play and head over to our ammo, the first one we pick up should go to our white one, which is the loaded ammo, which it does. And the second one should go to the yellow one, which is our reserve ammo, and it does. So as long as we have zero, it will always go to um, the loaded ammo. So if we pick that up, fire 10 shots, and then pick this one up, it'll go back to our loaded. Um, at the moment, we can fire into the minuses. So because it isn't equal to zero, it will head into the current ammo. But you can see there, we've picked up 20, worth, uh, 20 rounds worth of shots. So next tutorial, um, although we still have to work on the reload and we still have to work on the boundaries of our ammo within our gun, um, we're going to head into the world itself. Um, let's double click on the floor here. So the world itself is kind of plain and boring at the moment. There's not a lot to it. There's not really any lighting, which makes much of a difference at the moment. But what I would like to do is start building up our world. For example, if we come over here, we can have a door and a switch. So we'd press the switch and the door would open. There can be hallways, uh, lighting effects going on, different sorts of things. So before we go any further with the basic mechanics of our gun, let's have a world that we can actually move around in properly and have something fun to do inside. After that, we're then going to work on our reload, different guns, um, campaign sort of things. So, for example, you start the game and you need to go to a certain place to do something, shoot things or people along the way. Um, so, yeah, we're only really just getting started on this first person tutorial. We've got, as I say, the basic mechanics in. We've got some fun things in there, but it all starts in the next episode when we start going into uh, our environment to make it much more fun. So uh, until the next episode, um, thank you very much for watching.